we now return to Let's Play Avernum. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, sure, we'll put one in there. save a little bit of something for um, boosting my cave lore, but I think we have enough. Uh, quickly. That might actually be helpful. Okay, let's put it in hardiness. Yeah. Let's continue to throw it in there all willy-nilly. Um, I think we need more effective spells, to be honest. To that end. And I think I need to keep boosting priest spells here. Or was it arcane lore? No, no, no. We need more, more of these because well, at 16 we can learn divine restoration. Everything else looks like we need a book, or 17. Okay, so I need to remember that 17 is the max for both. All right. Uh, intelligence. Let's build another one up there. Another one up there. Did that unlock anything else? No. The next one will be at 15, I guess. Or 16. Well, we should be able to learn a lot of things down in the... Uh, oh, you know what? I have... Got a couple of these. So, who needs it the most? Maybe I should give it to my priest. Or my spellcasters. What do you have? Piercing crystal, battle crystal. Yeah, let's try and get these guys sort of built up here. Oh, that was it. A mirror. A mere 200? Okay, well, time to leave. Let's keep going. Okay, um, let's take out these damn zombies. There we go. See a group of horrible undead creatures. They're wandering along the paths around Meritus, seemingly looking for prey. They're slow and clumsy, and seem somewhat confused. You could evade them easily, but then you could continue to wander and do harm. Or you could attack them. Duh. I gasped. Oh, these guys are gonna be so easy. That's right. Get that, not even touched. And I'm still fatigued. Oh yeah. So easy. Oh, I can't get there. Damn it. Uh, I need to get myself some more spears here, apparently. More javelins. What could I do? I don't really need to waste any more of this stuff. Very effective. It's 
very effective. Just slain the undead wandering around Merita's farms. Though this was no doubt a very helpful deed, you fear that there are sure to be more. Yeah, so that was kind of pointless then, I guess, huh? And these guys following me. Let's get back on the road. Honeycomb to the west. That is not the way I want to go. Uh, yeah, let them go. We will continue on. No! Continue on. Ah, oh, damn it. Hold on. I gotta remember to disable that. Um, right, so this little path down here, judging by this map, it goes to the back of the Tower of Magi. Uh, I think I want to check that out first. I may as well, because otherwise I'm just going to have to come back here. So, why not? Kind of anticipate gameplay. Anything special up here? What is this? Uh, what are those? Rats, okay. Let's head back this way. Good grief, what the hell's back here? And those are fast freaking rats. Okay, we got some secrets. Ooh. Uh, quick save. You find a large, twisted pillar of glowing crystal. It's an interesting stone formation. You admire it for a little while. However, while there is some sort of magic here, you don't know how to interact with it. Damn. So I gotta remember that's there for sure. Get rid of these stupid rats. Come over here to this secret. Which uh, isn't really a secret. And apparently we've picked up another group of something. Oh. Oh boy. Uh... Is that the tower? I guess that must be the tower. Let's go back this way. Oh. Oh wow. Okay. I didn't even get a chance there. What is that, a fire lizard? Mm, I may want to take care of that. Uh, I actually, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to make sure I've got the right weapon. Did not take care of it. Alright, don't have to worry about that. The ogres are still a bit of a problem. Uh, yeah. Let's try... Now I'm going to have to get way up there. Unless I want to try this, which I do. Okay, great. Nothing on the ground. Let's head back this way, just so I make sure that I've got... Ah, there is a secret back here. Oh, boy! Quick save. There's a small ancient hermit camped here, sitting by a humble camp at the far end of this remote passage. Strange, insubstantial forms flit around the camp. He hails you when you approach. Greetings, friends, or friends-to-be. You folks seem to be adventurers, and I have rarely met an adventurer who didn't covet better weapons and armors and the like. Often buy and sell valuable equipment. Would you like to examine my wares? Yes. Hmm... Oh. Uh, well, he's got some piercing crystals, but now that I've got that spell and a few crystals of my own, it's completely worthless. In fact, he has absolutely nothing that I want. Um, yeah, and these rubies are not worth the price. Hmm. Well, I would have to fight all that undead. Which may or may not be worth it, I don't know. Should I even talk to that group? They just seem kind of... 
I don't know what they're doing here. What is this? The Tower of Magi. So I completely bypass all security. Okay. You enter the Tower of Magi. This is the center of magical learning in Avernum, and thus incredibly important. The power here makes the difference between life and death for everyone down here. Yet something is not right here. The huge stone structure is imposing, sure, yet there is also something strange here, something wrong. It's a little bit too warm, a little bit too dark, and you constantly feel like you're being watched. And considering how much magical power rests here, there's probably more than mere paranoia. Yeah. Probably demons, right? Speaking of, there's still this hidden tower I need to figure out how to get into. Now, I remember picking up a key, just a nondescript key at some point, which may or may not have had anything to do with this. What are you doing here, Glenda? A cheery red-headed woman nods at you from behind the counter. Welcome to Glenda's Magic Shop. Find supplies for magical research. Paper pens, wands to defend you when your demon gets loose. Um, what goods do you deal in? I have a wide variety of powerful items available for purchase, all made for the mages of this tower. They're very skilled, but they need all sorts of supplies. How skilled? Quite skillful. If dower, I have some small skills in the magical realms. Or, sorry, that was not a comma. Um, but I'm not there in, the, in their league, and I can't say I mind. Lately, they've been looking as if they wish they weren't in their league e either. She smiles and shrugs. None of my concern. What do they need? Papers and pens, chemicals and herbs. Flasks and scales. Another fetch quest. All that shit that I've been bypassing throughout the entire northeastern section of Avernum. Now I need it? Is that what you're telling me? They aren't good at haggling, so I turn a tidy profit. What sort of research are they doing? They... I've learned not to ask too many questions. You should do the same. I have another question. After she told me not to ask questions. Okay, I'd like to buy something. Uh, a bunch of crap. Alchemical belt. To magical efficiency. Uh, I've got that, apparently. Pointless. Oozing wands, I've got plenty of. Sheets of papyrus and pen and ink are all over the frickin' place down here. Fine steel go ooh, ooh. Uh, I've got those too. Worthless. I am so frickin' overpowered that absolutely nothing here is gonna help me, I bet. Sad news, but not surprising. You don't look the research type. Let's, uh, see what else you've got. Brantford here. A tiny grinning man in ratty robes greets you. He is surrounded by an astonishing collection of items, some mundane, some expensive looking, some utterly bizarre. Welcome, he says. Welcome to my collection. I am Brantford, and I have the finest trading post for volatile, magically tinged junk in all of Avernum. Why do you have all this? Well, I collect strange items from all parts of the caves and pass the savings on to you. Let me know if you want to buy something. Who trades with you? Adventurers, mercenaries, farmers who found something glowing in the basement. In Avernum, we can't let a single scrap of magic go to waste. So they bring it all to old Brantford. I'd like to do some shopping. Flawed crystals, worthless. Sheets of papyrus, rolling pins, ooh. Samaritan sandals. Healing, aha! Yes. Wow, but they do much less armor. And I don't really need that much healing. My healing spells actually seem to be doing pretty good. I mean, just my base healing seems to do enough. Maybe I should get an ivory band. Well, no, no, no. Hmm, plus 5% to healing. Hmm, I'll come back. I'll think on it. Uh, but what I can do is I can sell you a bunch of my crap. 800 coins. That almost pays for the stuff that I just looked at. What do you have here? Swamp boots. Piercing crystal. Everyone's got that crap down here, apparently. Uh, and a silver necklace. A lamp. It's just a light source, though. It's not magical. And pens and papers that are everywhere. Uh, tongs. And a bowl. And a well. Okay, what do we got here? The path of the True Divine. Hmm. Trondle. You meet a powerfully built man wearing spotless white robes. A huge mace hangs at his belt. Odd that, in the middle of the stronghold, he makes sure to be able to defend himself. 
Uh, I didn't read that with the right inflection. <clears throat> Uh, he walks up and claps you on the shoulder, instantly familiar with you. I'm Throndal, the path of the true way. You don't look like a pilgrim, but I'm happy to help you nonetheless. Are you the priest of this temple? Yes, I'm a servant of the path of the true way. I provide guidance and occasionally protection to my brothers who work here for the good of Avernum. Also, great pilgrims in this place. Why do they need protection? Suddenly becomes nervous. Very strange for a person of his obvious power. Yes, well, a mage's life can be a dangerous one, and there are certain forces that I can be of extra assistance in controlling. Uh, do you see, get many pilgrims. Yes, many come to the place for guidance, and I am often one of those they come to. I can teach people a wide variety of spells. Let me know if you want to buy one. I certainly do. Uh, the path of the true way? Yes, we are those who seek to teach the true way. Beyond this world, beyond what we know. We wish to reach beyond and learn the secrets of those who dwell there. Uh, you mean demons? No, I mean yes, demons are out there, but we seek their opposite. Those who offer kindness and wisdom. We have never found them. We just keep finding more demons. But we are ever seeking. Are there others in the tower who tread that path? There are those who seek to to go beyond, to get power from beyond the veil. However, they would follow the shortcut of dealing with the dark powers. I can see where this is going in this tower section here. He pats his hammer. It is foolishness, and we must be ready for the consequences. Dark powers? I want to know more. Uh, I'm here only because Linda of the Triad tolerates me. I will only say, beware of the Hakai Lord response to your inquiries with silence. I want to learn some holy rituals. Uh, you. You need to look at this. The Ward of Thoughts protects you from mental attacks. I'm willing to bet that's going to be helpful. Unshackle Mind. Charmed, Terrified, Pay... I may as well buy all this crap. Improved Heal. Mass Healing. Ah. And Mass Curing. Alright. Uh, you look like a holy man of great power. And that used up all my freaking money. Sorry, uh, Cordelia. Can you teach me anything really powerful? I might. I sense great things in you. I'd like to help, but I need help in return. There's a ritual I wish to help create, and to do that, I need an anvil. A huge anvil. Larger than any in Avernum. Where should I look? I sent agents to all the tunnels and cities to the west and in the eastern gallery. That leaves the far north. I've already been there. What sort of ritual? One that may use anvils to smite our foes. I'm working with a member of the triad to develop it. You should meet him. Uh, he has no name that he shares. He's called X. His chamber's in the southeast corner of the tower, but he values his privacy. If you would find him, look for switches on the walls. Finding one shows that you have enough clever to merit this time. His time. I have seen an enormous anvil. It is in Botel's forge in Fort Draco. Is it? Because uh, I don't remember that. Thank you, I appreciate your help. When your reputation shows that you are wise enough to handle the power of my strongest rituals, I will teach them to you. Please teach me the more powerful rituals. Damn it. Divine fire. Ah. Oh. Of course I would waste all my money on the rest of that crap. But uh, now I've got quite a bit. I still don't have all of it, of course. I will get things too. And then I have to learn these from somewhere else, I guess. But uh, the mass stuff here is pretty good. I guess I didn't have to get the heal. Because that's kind of pointless. But uh, I have a feeling that the mental stuff will come into play here soon. What with demons and forces of darkness. You gotta be ready for that kind of crap. Hello, Xanthia. An ancient hunched wood... <laughs> An ancient hunched woodman... Still got it wrong. Woman bustles behind a counter covered with alchemical equipment. She is busily measuring and mixing chemicals. She looked quite unnerved by your process. Uh, what can I purchase from you? This is not my shop, I'm afraid. It belongs to Cortath. I can make potions for you, but I'm very busy. Who's Cortath? The owner of this shop. He traveled north to try and find some gray mold for some sort of salve. Healing, not my area. If you're looking for him, he probably visited Philea in Fort Draco. Ask her about him. Philly is quiet, and she can be hard to find, but mention I sent you, and she will help you. Oh, is that that one combative, off-putting woman who is sort of hidden? I think that might be. Why are you so busy? She looks up at you again, and this time, strangely, you see a glimmer of fear in her eyes. I can't tell you why I'm afraid, but suffice it to say, this is a great time of urgency in the tower. I'd like to purchase a potion. 
common request, but I'm short on stock. Okay, can you make one for me? Of course. Uh, apparently, I cannot get any from her. Ah, look at the book. You flip through the book. It's very well worn. Okay, I need gray mold for most of that crap. With, um... Mandra, dude. Okay. Nothing over here, then. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Can I go around the... Stop moving, damn it! Yeah, I didn't go all the way up here. Gotta make sure I can get around. There might be secrets out there. There probably are secrets out there. There appears to be something back here, for sure. And there's still something up in that corner. Before I get too far down here, this looks like it just goes all the way around. Probably where there is a hidden switch or something of that type. Oh, I can only go this far. Yep, okay. <sighs> By now you should know what these kinds of episodes entail whether you want to sit and watch them or not. There's a staircase. Just sitting out in the middle of nowhere, and there's the switch. Ah. Apparently this wall goes all the way- whoa. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's take this- this, uh, wall first. This is the tower's library of esoterica. The books are obscure and dust enshrouded. You can't help but wonder where all the books came from. They are from the surface. They must have been smuggled down here. You flip through them, but you don't find anything useful. But I do find a person. X. You see a strange man, middle-aged, calm and confident. He has a staff carved in the shape of a cobra. He is completely lost in thought, so much so that it seems an effort for him to talk to you. He reads a scroll, mutters, yes, trajectory, plan, angle, travel, you, visitor, I am X, triad, what, read, plan, above, fire, yes. He continues in his this vein for some time. What are you doing in this library? Research, lately. I've been researching. A new spell. It would make an anvil drop on someone's head. Even from a long distance, it would be a wondrous spell. I wouldn't have a chance to find it without this library. Mostly, though, I teach. Teach. Powerful spells, but I've been busy lately and haven't time to do any teaching now, he thinks. But wait, we could trade. I've heard rumors that somewhere in Avernum there's a place called Barga. There's a small library. Find it. It would be a great help in researching my anvil-flinging spell. I'll make you a trade. You tell me where the library is. I'll teach you spells. Uh, are you a member of the Triad? Yes, I, Linda, and Solberg rule the tower. However, I have been busy. Solberg is away. Mainly Linda is in charge. I wonder what she's been doing. I'd like to learn some spells. Yes. I like to teach. Where'd this library come from? What many gifts? Erica Redmark. About whom the less said, the better. Another question. Uh, nothing. Okay, so fire. Above the fire, he said. What is this? Speed burst. Uh, useless. Let's go up the uh, stairs. Into the chambers. We got wine. Uh, I will take that. There's apparently nothing else up here. Fireplace, he said. Hmm. Okay. Well, there, there's nothing. There's just that goblet. Wait a minute. What are these? Oh, disappointing. Okay. Well, there is one more thing over here. I don't like the fact that there are a couple demons here. Oh my god, everyone's hidden. Everyone just hid themselves away in the walls. Imprisoned human. Uh, should I have done this? There's a young man locked in this cell. He's clearly an apprentice mage here. However, he is clearly starved and dehydrated and on the verge of a nervous breakdown. You ask his game. name. Blech. 
can't speak tonight, but he only says, it's here? Is it here? Why are you locked up? He didn't seem to hear what you said. I'll be good, I promise. It's a good idea. We should... We did... I'm glad it was a good thing. Please, let me out. We can control it. His eyes are wild, and his voice is shrill. Almost a shriek. Control what? He control continues to rant. It's strange. He seems to be weakened, not by deprivation, but by sheer terror. We can control it. I didn't think we could. He looks at you for the first time, seeming to see you. We all did it. We all brought it. Here. We lured it. He lurches even closer to you. It's here, now, above us, waiting for us to break. Then we all burn. He starts shouting with a ragged voice. He doesn't stop. What has he got in his pockets? Nothing. Well, we'll just leave. Uh, the door open. Don't mind me, officer. I'm just snooping around. Hmm, bloodstains. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. I'll take it. Um, I may as well steal this, too. Since no one can see me. Tongs and pincers and a hammer. There's a thick book on the pedestal. The thick papyrus pages are covered with dense, strange writing. Decipher it. Describes in great detail a variety of mental disorders which can cause one to think that you are being watched, even that someone is standing right behind you, watching you, and sneaking up on you. Cave demon. Uh, is that an illusion? We shall find out. Don't let it get away. Now that was no illusion. Had a scroll of spine shield and a platinum ring. Which is good for being sold. I wonder if I can summon another one. Let's try it again. This bizarre book describes in great detail the variety of mental disorders. Reading it makes you think you're being attacked by monsters. Makes you think that, huh? Well, I got experience for it, so... Oh, Klenner. Kellner. Wow. A young apprentice is staring into the pool. He looks very nervous. When you approach, he looks up at you, seemingly evaluating you. He's trying to decide whether you can be trusted. Finally, he makes a decision. He shakes your hand. Hello, I'm Kellner. Why are you staring into the pool? I'm an apprentice. I come to this pool often to contemplate. What things do you have to contemplate? Too many things. My life, my lessons, and the things that are happening in this tower. If you search the tower and learn the name of the thing we have brought here, perhaps I would share my contemplations with you. You mean the Hakai Lord? He turns relieved. Yes, you are not from the tower, so you might be trustworthy. He speaks quickly, looking constantly for eavesdroppers. A powerful creature has been brought here, and it may escape any day. It all started when Solberg of the Triad left. It is my hope that if he is alerted, disaster may be averted. When did he leave? He went away a year ago, I don't know why. He was my friend and looked after me, and he said if ever he was needed, instructions for where to find him were left in a hidden cave east of here. I can't go find him, but maybe travelers such as you can. His message is in a secret tunnel northeast of here, inscribed on a twisted pillar of crystal. Aha! Please find him. If the Hakai Lord escapes, horrid, horrid things will happen. Okay. Let me write that down. Okay, so we know what that crystal does, but uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to read it. What does it say? Triad Quarters. Apparently I can just wander in here anyway. Uh, leather, armor... What's on the... Bronze, bracers... Radiate ice. Can always use one of those. Right, meat. Aha. Aha. Well, let's use oh, yeah. Someday I should probably use those crystals. Restricted area. Danger. Quick save. I laugh in the face of it. What else did I get myself for? A word of thoughts? 
may as well just pop them all. Oh, I guess I don't have anything. Never mind. Okay. In we go. I'm using a lot of magic for this crap. Oh, a demon. Oops, you. Oh, I hate this. Um, okay. You see a demon, tall and imposing. Fortunately, he, she, it is kept from you by protective runes. It grins at you. It is surprisingly confident looking for an imprisoned creature. What are you doing in here? Waiting for mighty Adze Hakai from beyond to break his bond and blast you all. It will happen soon. You will all die. You are a prisoner? Why are you here? Ha! Fools! I am here to devour you. Adze Hakai is out of control, rampaging through the chambers above, and when he fights his way free, all of Vernum will pay. You can mock me now, but your time will come. It starts to laugh uncontrollably. Try to learn more, but the demon only laughs. Uh, I may not want to go this way yet. This large room is a magical laboratory of extreme potential and power. Small protective glyphs are etched into the walls, floor, and ceiling. There's energy here and something else, too. There's a palpable feeling of danger and evil. Also, for some reason, a lot of heat radiates from the ceiling. I'm not so sure I want to come in here just yet. What's going to happen when I wander all these glyphs? Akai is free! Is that what he said? Oh my god! Um, why don't you, uh, why don't you come out here? You need to get in here. And suddenly all my protections are gone. Uh, all this I want you out. And, uh, why don't you come over here? Almost. Almost got him. Uh, what else can I do? Summon a shade? These are kind of easy. I don't think we'll need them. Save. Nothing. Nothing in there. Uh, really? I couldn't pick up this. Yes, that's what I want to take. And what did I just see over there? Uh huh. Uh, before I go in there. Mmm. I can disable that, right? Save. I can. Uh oh. Quick save again. Restricted area. Danger. Stay away. Hmm. Uh, right. I'm gonna have to... to go in and out. Oh! Cave demons. Okay. You. Oh, there's more of them. And I'm once again blocking the way. That's uh, that's a recipe for disaster there. There's a chest in the middle. Well, why don't you get here? Okay, fine. Get over here. Uh, these ones are a bit tougher, actually. Is this going to hit? No, I can't reach. Damn. 
so I guess I'm gonna have to get everyone out of there. I can haste a few of them. And I missed. That's no good, all this. I missed again. Uh, that seems okay. What else can I do here? I don't think anything. Do I have any wands? Spine shield? No, I just need to get everyone out. I need to get everyone out and in a position where they can just kind of free up all the room here. heal up yet. How far can I make it? Oh, good. We will just wait. Um, I can probably buff again. And, well, what can we do with this? Not much. This is going to take some magical doing. Well, aim blow. Ooh, backstab from the front. And a mist. Okay. Easy peasy. Um, what can you do? need the haste again. Do I not have anyone who's just staring down the corridor? Was he really just not coming to me? That's pretty lame. And I missed. You gotta stop doing that. Okay, I'm gonna just have you sit there for a minute. Uh, maybe I need you up there healing. And you are stuck. Why don't you get out of the way? And you can just wait. Boy, everyone just is sitting here doing nothing useful. That really irks me. Uh, what do I have here? A little bit of healing. So you're not completely wasting your time. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, that is probably not going to be effective. The cat is in on this? Oh, switch weapon. Switch weapon. Okay. Yep. I think we're doing pretty good here. Pretty well. This box contains a tiny dagger. It's far too small to be er, used as a weapon, but the blade is amazingly sharp. Sharper than any knife you have ever seen. The knife is covered with small, intricate glyphs and symbols. It might be an item of considerable magical power. Take it! The Blessed Athame. And that is apparently another quest item. I have a feeling I'm going to need that. To, uh... Now, oh, here we go. And the crown token. What is this good for? Gets me into the castle. Bunch of brooches, bunch of keys. Grey mold salve recipe. Ah. Was that... Was that the thing that he was talking about? Um, I, I have this feeling that I'm going to need that dagger to kill the uh, ultimate demon here, but before we go completely wandering up there, because obviously that is sort of where we need to go, I'm instead going to just wander in here and pick around. 
crystalline wands. Let's move in here. Uh, dragon's ice. I shall take it. Papyrus, a scroll of power lash. I will take it. Uh, may as well take the money. We've stolen so much from this person anyway. Why hold back? Here. It's on the ground. Towel and pillows. I think we can leave that. Crude leather gloves. Fine cloaks. Okay, what am I missing on that? Okay, I just gotta go around the outside of the tower, apparently. And no one is around here. There's more wine. I'll take that. Cloaks. Fine robes. Emerald. Appears to be a dead end up here. Flora and Fauna Modification Lab. Linda. The middle-aged woman with short dark hair sits at the desk writing. Leaning against her chair is a short wooden staff carved in the shape of a twisting serpent. The runes on her robe indicate that she's a person of great power. When she looks at you, clearly annoyed by your presence. Wow, that's not what this says at all. She looks up at you, clearly annoyed by your presence. What? Who interrupts Linda of the Triad? I am busy, adventurer. Speak quickly. Who are you? I'm a, of the Triad that controls the tower. What's the Triad? Tower of Magi is run by three mages. Uh, who is absent? Gives you a truly ugly smile. Yes, one of the three is away. We don't know when he will be back. I'd like to ask about X. Where is he? Uh, he can be of aid to you. He's around here somewhere. He usually hides in his library in the southern quadrant. quadrant. Wow. Behind a concealed door. I have another question. What are you researching? Many, many things. This is an ambitious time for the tower. A great, a time of great and auspicious happenings. Right now I'm trying to find information on the first expedition. What was the first expedition? Many years ago, when these caves were first found, the tyrants above sent down a variety of troops led by a group of adventurers. These adventurers had a wide variety of magical items. Several weapons, several peculiar items, and finally a scepter of onyx. They were all killed to a man and woman, and the items were scattered. And we want them. What sort of magical weapons did they have? We cannot yet reliably make magical weapons, that's why we want these so badly. There was an undead slaying spear and a halberd with a blade of jade, and more importantly, there was a pike, giant slayer, and greatest of all, the sword, demon slayer. Demon slayer was shattered, alas, but if the pieces were found, it could be reforged. You know anything about the peculiar items? There was Thralni's orb, which enables the user to fly. I seem to recall hearing about that. There was a blessed Athame, a magic knife, which could cut practically anything. I have that now. It would be a great thing to find these items. She starts to stare up at the ceiling, ignoring you. Your presence is starting to make you run. Your presence is starting to make her uncomfortable. Tell me about the Onyx Scepter. A strange and powerful item only used by the greatest of mages. I could say more about it, but I won't. Suffice it to say, this is a great and auspicious time for the tower. Can you teach me any magic? She laughs. I'm sorry, but I have far greater things to concentrate on. I have learned that you have summoned a huge demon. Are you sure that's safe? She jumps out of her chair furious. How did you learn about that? You fools have no idea what you're talking about. The things we do here do not concern you. Leave me! Hmm. hmm. Is she going to attack me if I... Magical notes? Hmm. And there seems to be a glyph going in there. Okay, I don't want to, uh... I don't want to antagonize her yet. This episode is going to have to be broken into parts. Hopefully I can finish the rest of the exploration of the tower, though. There's a guard here. And nothing of use in the chests. Another guard. Well, I can't really steal anything with them around. I mean, I can, but I'm not going to. Hmm. Monies. Magical notes. Uh, I will take it. You never know. Someone might want them. And... Open sesame. There's a thick book on the pedestal. Decipher it. You can improve your knowledge of the spell. Haste, here. You concentrate and try to memorize it. With work, you gain more proficiency. 
Okay. Yeah. I think those demon statues are kind of a dead giveaway. Wow, there is a whole section behind her cha behind her chambers. Stairs to the portal tower. Aha. Okay. Well, I will eventually want to go to the portal and learn about that. This room is cluttered with an astonishing variety of flasks, mortars, pestles, jars of small body parts, and other alchemical devices. Magical laboratory, blah, blah, blah. Ambrin. An old man putters about his lab. Sometimes he seems senile, sometimes alert. What brings you to Ambrin? Uh, do you work in the tower? I and Karnig are the day-to-day -day teachers of the tower. I have been a teacher for many years. Don't ask the students for help. They're forbidden to speak without permission. Why can't they speak freely? Ah, uh, it's part of their training. Karnig and I took after them, teach, and I look after them, teach the magic, and discipline them as necessary. Where is Konig? He's away looking for some sort of crystal cave. I think I found that too. Don't know anything about it. He said he was going to Katra, I think. Pity's away. He's the one who teaches a lot of our potion making classes. Uh, who knows? Maybe you could learn something from him. Okay. Uh, I came to learn magic. Can I learn some mage spells? I've got all of them. Blink? Did I learn blink? No, I just have no money. Okay. Blink would be useful. Lightning spray would be nice. Miner summon? Cl oh, ooh, basset spray? I want everything! Now, uh, do you have any other administrative jobs for the schools, or anything I could help with? For money, or magic? As a matter of fact, there's an infestation of ogres nearby. Uh, they keep eating our students. Kill the ogre mage, which leads them, and I will teach you a valuable spell. They live to the northwest. You may want to be careful, though. It may be somewhat difficult. Aren't you wizards? Can't you kill the thing yourselves? We are wizards, but we are busy. Too busy for the mundane task of protecting apprentices who should be learning to save themselves. Also, everyone here is alert and working to bottle up the Hakai Lord. It... oh, oh, wait, what? Nothing, nothing at all. I did not say anything. Please do not tell Linda. I just slip of the tongue. Nothing at all. Okay. Now let's have a poke around. Now there is a... Thing, a book I can read up there. Steal. Steal. No, damn! Because he was right there. Well, let's hurry and get over here. Decipher it. Pages are completely blank. How odd. Damn you, Ambrin. Well, at least I stole the valuable thing. Crude leather gloves. Looks to be a lamp. Nothing. Nothing of value whatso freaking ever. We have a lot of these freaking things. Uh, what's my reputation? Somewhat popular. I have been doing a lot of stuff. Okay. We're not quite done yet. This is going to be a very long episode, which tends to lead to problems. This is a small lecture hall intended for a very small number of students. A board on the north wall has frightening arcane symbols. Here many of the brightest Avernites are taught magic. This is a remarkable thing, considering that on the surface very few people are allowed any access to magic, and even then, only if they are sworn dire oaths of loyalty to the Empire. And I see nothing. Steel ward, okay. I don't yet want to go up those stairs. Oh, this place is huge! An apprentice. Oath of secrecy. I could probably rob this guy blind and he wouldn't be able to tell anyone. Broken bits. Let's wander in here. The tower gardens, but don't pick the fruit. No walking on the mushrooms. You enter the tower of Magi gardens. These plants are here from far more than just decoration. Plants are magically altered here to create hybrids useful in the harsh, dark environments of Invernum. Of Invernum. Many of the strange plants which sustain life in Avernum were created here, such as the fungal trees and the most useful strains of edible mushroom. 
and the stringy lichen used to create cloth and rope. If the Tower of Magi was nothing more than this room, its value to Avernum would still be incalculable. Aha. Oh, oh, don't walk on that. So was that sort of my... Yeah, okay, that was the secondary way in there, I guess. That I've just left wide open. Wide open to the demons. That's fine. Here's apparently how I get to the back of What's-Her-Face's room. So let's, uh... Before I walk over that, that's fine. Okay, so there's clearly stuff back there. I probably don't want to get rid of that yet. But I'll have to remember it's there. Let me write that down. As soon as I gain access to the portal, I'll be able to teleport all around Avernum and go pick up all these loose ends. Uh, pedestals, okay. Decipher it. This book is on various sorts of summoning and binding. It's quite hard to read, however... Many of the pages have been torn out. Uh, the words, Adze Hakai Madness. Strange. You take note of the name. Read it. Obscure, not very interesting magical artifacts. The bookmark is the page described as the Blessed Athame. It is an enchanted knife, incredibly durable and sharp. It mentions that it is hiding in a workshop. Yeah, I've, I've got it. I picked it up. Anyone half as observant as myself could have found it. These are the quarters for the apprentices, sleeping cubicles, apprentice who can't say a damn thing, papyrus, and pen and ink. Cloak room, apparently. So, the one desk is perfectly fine to pick up the pen and paper, and the other desk is stealing. Go figure. All right, around the outer circuit. I said around the outer... Oh, you're in my way, sir. Around the outer circuit and up the stairs. Maybe. No, no, no. I don't want to go up the stairs. Wait a minute. That's the stairs to the portal room, though. We should be fine. But let's... No, I can't go out that side. Okay. Stairs to the portal room. Let's go have a look. Uh, what does this do? Did I just close that? Ah, okay. This looks like a puzzle. Bronze, cave woods. And it looks like a very powerful... Newbury. Oh, okay. Game saved. So, do you suppose maybe that's meant to... Whoa! I hope those aren't hostile. Newbury. This hall is dominated by a large magical portal through which the flickering nimbus of energy you see other towns and tunnels of Avernum flicker by. Piles of supplies surround it, ready to be instantly delivered to faraway caves. The portal is intended to be... or is tended by one lone mage. The raw power in the chamber can't be good for her, but she seems unconcerned. Ah, a traveler. Here to learn to use the portal? I'm Nubri. I can help. Use the portal? Of course. Why else would you be here except to see how to use the power of the Empire for ends that aid us? It is not difficult once you've located the pylons. Where can the portal take me? Anywhere you've placed a pylon and have touched it. Pylons? Enchanted stone pylons placed by us in all the major cities of Avernum. Also the castle and a handful of promising settlements. Where should I look for the pylons? Oh, we haven't hidden them. They are simply underground to shelter the people from raw magical energy. Tunnels or under cities are the best place to look. And when I find a pylon, touch it and concentrate on this place. You will come here. Then step into the portal again and concentrate on the pylon. You will go there. Simplicity itself. Is it dangerous? Some think that the power that courses out of it will wither all those who spend too much time nearby. Doesn't that worry you? Of course not. The raw magical energy is invigorating. And while my hair falls out sometimes, that might have happened anyway. Is the portal dangerous to use? Of course, terribly so. Why, you might end up with your head in a wall. That's not good, is it? But, and this is key, it is less dangerous than actually traveling on the roads of Avernum. Not necessarily true. Uh, how do the pylons get placed? Mages go there with the proper materials and they set to work. The major cities were easy to reach. Some desired destinations are more difficult, such as... 
We want to make a portal connecting us to Erica's tower, but it's too far a journey. A pity. It would help us draw from her great knowledge. Tell me more about her. She is the greatest mage in Avernum. Alas, she is also a hermit. Also, she is consumed with hatred of the Empire. You should seek to meet her. If you are truly as ambitious as you look, she may have use for you. Is that, uh, is she underneath? Maybe I know who that is. Tell me about these supplies. They are being sent to needy cities all over Avernum, and no, you can't have them. Okay. That is valuable to me. So now I can travel instantaneously between various cities. Let's go use it. I can only go to Silvar? Are you kidding me? I've only activated Silvar? Hmm. That's disappointing. But what do I need in here anyway? Did I need to come back here? I don't know. Well, so, uh, now it's time for me. <coughs> now it's time for me to go do some housekeeping, house cleaning, whatever you want to say, um, and get some of those barriers, which I will do off screen, and I'll also move around, take care of a few other things, maybe activate a few more portals, I don't know. Uh, and then we'll go take care of the Mage Tower. This has been a long episode. I'm going to end it here. I will see you next time.